As part of the moves by the federal government to stamp out corruption and reduce cost of governance, the President Buhari's administration recently ordered all ministries, departments and agencies to start paying into a Treasury single account. But can the Accountant General of the Federation find solution to the many unanswered questions with regards to bank liquidity and unemployment in Nigeria? Welcome to Question Time. I'm Binga Ashiru. You can be part of this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. There are reports of bank panics and stiff resistance from some government agencies with the introduction of the Treasury single accounts. Would there be palliatives for the TSA policy? Does the TSA have enough structure and will to make a difference? Channel TV was at the Treasury House, that's the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation. The Accountant General, Mr. Hakmed Idris, says the Treasury single account is the way to go. And that brings him on question time. Um, I must say right from the onset that Treasury single account is not new to the Nigerians or Nigerian economy. Uh, we had started already since 2012 with about uh, 93 MDAs. As of today, we have about 507 MDAs. However, it was only confined to payment aspect. That is payment, I mean MDAs, uh, making payment through uh, a platform known as GIFMIS and TSA. However, the present uh, uh, policy or the present uh, circular on TSA encompasses revenue aspect and where all MDAs, no exception, all uh, government agencies, ministries that draw their budgets from national budget, that draw their funding from national budget, or those that partially draw from national budget, or those that you know, get their funding from uh, federation accounts. All of them are now to be brought into a single window called TSA, Treasury Single Account, as the name connotes. It is simply a dashboard through which government revenue can be tracked, through which at a glance you can see what is the liquidity position of government. Uh, you can see what is the cash position of government. That is all uh, it entails. And like I said, it is meant to cover all receipts, all revenues, all incomes of all agencies. It is an account or a set of accounts that are linked together and they can give at a glance what is the overall position of liquidity of government. Are you, are you concerned about bank panics over this introduction of uh, TSA? Naturally, with any other policy, uh, status quo has been changed. It is a departure from what it used to be. Uh, change is necessary, and we have to accept it when it comes. But the most important thing to uh, realize is um, if a change is for good, then people should understand and key in. And I believe TSA introduction by government as a policy now is good for the economy, is good for Nigerians because of obvious reasons. Uh, on the side of banks anyway, um, yes, there could be panic. This is a fear of unknown. Uh, more so liquidity on the part of banks may be affected by way of withdrawal of some of these revenue accounts which is at all uh, domicile with the banks, and they will now move to central bank. Um, that notwithstanding, we introduce other policies to do with e-payment before the capital accounts of MDAs were with banks. They were taken to CBN. Banks are still existing. Later, the personnel cost of government, uh, namely the salaries and wages, were with commercial banks, now with CBN. Banks are still existing. So also this policy, banks will still continue to exist. But naturally, they will have to uh, focus more on traditional banking business. Uh, and they know best how to go about it. I'm not in a position to tell them what to do. They know how to survive and how to surmount whatever challenge that this uh, uh, policy may, may, may present before them. Now, with banks losing cheap funds in terms of um, a possible fallout in terms of uh, bank liquidity and unemployment. What palliatives will the Office of the Accountant General be introduce, introducing to this scheme? Let, let, me, let me take it from the angle of chief funds you mentioned. 
Of course, hitherto you find uh, multiple accounts of agencies uh, of government spread all over uh, banks and so on. Now it's so uh, come to a point whereby an agency of government or government itself is borrowing its own money. Uh, but with TSE, naturally, the entire money will be in one port, seen through one window, controlled through a dashboard, and uh, it will naturally uh, lead to less cost of funds on the part of government, less cost of uh, borrowing on the part of, uh, of government. And uh, of course, uh, banks may not uh, like this. Uh, it's natural. But then, this is the policy of government. And it's not just been done by Nigeria. This is what has been done even in countries that are less than uh, Nigeria in terms of strength of economy. So Nigeria is just keying in to be a global player, to be a world player, so that our rating as a country, our rating as an, as an economy, by our international partners, by our international collaborators, is getting higher and higher. And we are getting more and more respected. You can be a part of this conversation by placing your comments on the various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time, how much has been recovered from the alleged looted funds? The Accountant General responds to this when we come back.